Okay, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the general exam format. So I'm specifically talking about the New York State Regents Chemistry Exam, and we're going to look at the general format. Okay, we are going to walk through this exam. I'm going to show you what the parts are. So first of all, what are your available tools? Well, you are going to have a calculator, okay? So uh, you're going to have a calculator available for use, okay? You are going to have a brand new blank reference table available for use, okay? You are going to get a bubble sheet, not pictured, uh, but that is to answer the multiple choice questions. You will have an exam booklet, and then you will have an answer booklet, okay? Nothing that is written in here, nothing is graded. The only things that are graded are the answer booklet and the bubble sheet. So on the answer booklet, you will put your name, you will put your teacher's name, you will put your school, you will put your grade. And all of the written answers must be written in this answer booklet and in pen only. If you make a mistake and write it in pencil, you are going to have to trace it over in pen. So write in pen, okay? Same with the bubble sheet. So when you're filling in your bubbles, they're going to have to be in pen. Nothing that is graded can be in pencil, okay? So what are the actual exam sections? Well, here are the directions at first, okay? Then we have part A, and part A is going to be a whole bunch of multiple choice questions. So I go through how many? 30. So part A is 30 multiple choice questions. So 30 multiple choice in part A. Okay, what is next? Part B1. So B1 is next. And what is included in B1? Oh, more multiple choice questions. Up through 50. So that is 20 multiple choice questions. So that looks like I have 50 multiple choice questions. All right, what is next after the multiple choice questions? We have part B2. Now these are written answers. So B2 is next. Something else I want you to notice is in B2, here's where it starts. You see I have brackets. That's going to tell me how many points each question is worth. And rarely will one be worth multiple points, but that if it does happen, that may be for show a setup and the right answer. But in general, each question is going to be worth one point. So this starts with 51, and it goes through 65. So that means B2 is 15 points. Probably 15 questions, but if there is a two-point question, it might not be 15 points. Okay. And then finally, we have part C. Again, you will see a similar setup. So these are written answers. Okay, so then we have C, and this starts with question 66, and we continue in C, and we get to question 85. That's how I know each question was only worth one point, so I got all the way to 85. So part C is going to be 20 points. So, all told, it is 85 points, all right? In general, most regents uh, chemistry exams, you are going to need around 50 
points. Now it might be 51, might be 52, but you're gonna need around 50 of these 85 points in order to pass the exam with a 65%. Now I wouldn't shoot for getting 50 points uh, because again, the scale might be a little bit higher, you never know, but that's just a rough um, estimate of how many points you will need which is why I try to focus and say, if you can get at least 35 multiple choice points, odds are you will get 15 more from here. But aim for 35 to 40 multiple choice, and that will set you up for high success rate in the written questions, okay? Again, must write in what? Pen, okay? Can't be graded if it's in pencil. It's going to be out of 85 points total. 50 of those points come exclusively from multiple choice questions. The remaining 35 points come from written questions. Those written questions are going to be answered in this answer booklet. The 50 multiple choice questions are going to be answered on a bubble sheet. Okay, so this is the general setup of the exam. Uh, one thing I would like to note just in general, so here's when I'm looking at part A. Um, this is in general kind of the trend through the school year. So you could see this is a question about an atom. And if I go to B1, you can see I restart and I go back to the beginning again, okay? And you can see right here, um, this is nuclear chemistry. So although we may have done our units in a slightly different order, in general, as we go through this section, it kind of goes in order. And then when we get to B1, we're gonna restart and go back to the beginning again, and then continue. Um, and then as you can see, uh, again, we are um, at later topics in the year at the end. Okay, that is the general exam format for the New York State Regents Chemistry Exam. Hope you're ready.